so this is the hyundai i10 car which has the ac problem now what is the problem that i will explain to you first so here i am come inside the car now. now once i come inside the car i will put the gear in neutral and i will start the car now the problem with the ac is sometimes the ac turns on and gives nice cold air and sometimes the ac doesn't turn on at all what i mean is when i drive the car for around 10 to 20 minutes the ac suddenly starts and if i don't drive the car for a long time then the ac doesn't start for a long time but if the ac compressor gets engaged then it starts to give nice cold air now the problem is not with the cold air but if your car is not giving cold air at all then that can be a different problem like the gas problem but this car gives nice cold air if the compressor gets engaged now why this is happening that we will check now now as you have noticed that i have put on the ac now i will go out in the hood and check what is the problem now the ac is on and if you see here i will try to focus the camera here Now as you can see here, my compressor has not engaged yet. It is not turning. So this is the problem which this car is facing. Someone was telling me that this is a compressor problem. Now we will check and see if it is really a compressor problem or no. Now I will turn off the AC. Now after turning off the AC, I will go out of the car again. Now this time when I go out, I will check the fan. Now as you have noticed that my fan is off and the AC is also off. Now I will turn the AC on and first I will check the fan. So here I have turned on the AC. Now again I will go out and as you can see here my fan has started. Now we will check what is the scene of the compressor and as you can see here the compressor is still not rotating. It is like that only. Now if I drive this car for a long time then the compressor will start running and cold air will start coming inside the cabin. Now this I know and I have noticed which shows that it is not the fault of the compressor but it is some loose connection somewhere. So I will keep the AC on. And first I will check the relay switch. So as you can see here this is the fuse box. Open the cover of the fuse box. And if you see on the back side of the cover then it is written which fuse is for what. And as you can see here this is the location of the air condition relay switch. Now I will check it. This is the AC relay. Now if you keep a thumb on this relay and if you tell somebody to turn on the AC then you can feel the click with your thumb and you can even hear the sound. I will take the camera slightly closer so that you can hear the sound. So I am hoping that you heard the sound. Now I have recently replaced this switch. That is the reason why I know that it is working properly. Now if you check the compressor again, then you can see that the compressor is still not rotating. So now I will check the thermistor sensor. Now to check the thermistor sensor, you will have to go inside of the car again and on the passenger side and you will have to open this box. Now to open this box, there will be two clips on either side. These clips you will have to rotate like this and when you rotate both the clips, your box will come down like this. And as you can see here, there are stuff has reached the inside side of the box i don't know how that happened now the box is come down so now let's see where is the thermistor sensor so this is the thermistor sensor now the power supply is plugged in inside of the thermistor sensor here now i will shake the plug a little bit and check if the ac is turning on now when i shook this cable my compressor started running on the sound i could make out so i will go out and check now It is slightly getting difficult to focus here. And as you can see here, my AC compressor has start rotating. Before it was not rotating, but now it is working properly. You have witnessed that. Now as you guys can see, suddenly it has stopped working. Now again, I will go inside and I will move that plug again and I will check again. Now the moment I move the plug again, my compressor started again. I can figure that out by hearing the sound. Again, it is turning off again and again. Now, if your compressor is not starting at all, then how you can direct this plug and check? That also I will show you further in this video. So keep watching. Now, the moment I move the plug, the compressor starts. And the moment I leave it, it stops working. So there is some loose connection here that I can figure out. Now, after moving a lot, now my compressor finally started working consistently. Again, I will go out and check. And as you can see here, my compressor is rotating properly now. Now, again, I will go inside the car and I will show you even after moving the plug if your compressor is not starting and if your sensor is totally damaged then how you can direct it and check your compressor that I will show you now. Now this box just take it out completely and keep it on one side. I will keep it on one side and now I will pull this plug out first. Now it is becoming very difficult to show you how to remove it. So here I finally managed to get a good view. So pull it down and unplug it. So here comes out my plug. Now as you have noticed that it has three pins. Now if your car has three pins like this then how to direct it and check 
fact that I will show you now in this video. Now some cars has only two pins. Now to check those, it is a different process that I will not show you in this video because that needs a register to check. Now as you can notice here that this is the thermistor sensor wire. This goes inside of the AC box and check the temperature inside. Now if the temperature inside the AC box goes below 1 degree Celsius, then this sensor will stop the compressor automatically. Otherwise, ice will start to form inside of the box and your entire AC system can get damaged. So to protect that, this thermistor sensor is placed here. So now I will check if the power supply to this thermistor sensor is proper. So for that, I will need a multimeter. Now the multimeter I have put on DC voltage 20. Now the black wire is the grounding wire. So one pin you will have to connect to the grounding. So the red pin I will connect to the wire which is there totally on this side and the black wire I will connect to the grounding which is the socket which is there on the further end. Once you connect both the pins, now the thing to remember here is your AC should be turned on. Here my car, AC and blower, everything is on and the reading that I am getting here is a good reading 13.94 which means that my power supply to this point is proper. Now we will direct this and check if our AC compressor is working properly. Now I will go out in the hood and I will show you. Now the plug is unplugged. As you know that. Now your compressor can't be rotating because it is unplugged. Now as you can see the compressor is not rotating. Now again I will go inside and I will direct it. Now to direct the line you will have to take a small piece of wire like this. Now the black wire is the grounding wire. In that you should not be putting any wire. So the remaining two slots will have to direct. Which means the middle one and the one on this side. Now connect both the slots with this wire. So here I have made it direct. And once I made it direct my compressor has already started. I, I can make it out on the sound. And your car, AC and blower all should be on now. So check this. Then immediately go out and check if the AC compressor is running. And as you can notice here my AC compressor has started started working. Now when you do direct and if your AC compressor is working fine, this shows that the fault is with the thermistor sensor. Now you know the main fault. Now if you want you can replace this thermistor sensor with a new one or you can just put wires in the plug and tighten it and fit it back and check and like that you can try if it works for you. That all totally depends on you. But when I plug this back in, my everything started working fine. So I am hoping that if you have this problem, now you know how to fix it. So if you found this video useful then see that you like and share with your friends and family and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then see that you subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will not miss any of my future videos till then bye and take care